best friends, so... I took two guys the same night on Christmas Eve. Were they friends? Yeah, yeah they were friends. <laughs> I took two guys the same night on Christmas Eve. Were they friends? Yeah, yeah they were friends. <laughs> what? Do they know? No. Yeah, but do they? They don't know. No, they don't know. I had a thumb with my best friend and my fiance's best friend, so my fiance wasn't there. He wasn't there? No, he doesn't know about it. Oh, you guys are crazy. I got really drunk one night and I had to this one guy right as he walked out the door. Another guy walked in and then we. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to live life like. Nigga, what? All I can say is these women are talking about some of the things that they've done in relationships that their men didn't even know about. And listening to the things that they've done, I'm sorry to say, but this is probably some common stuff that I've seen women do. Women are going to do this when they're with a man that they do not like. When women are surrounded by men that they do not like, one thing about them that increases is their And you want to know why it increases? It's because that's where their power is at. They really want to get out and do something fun and see if they could get some dopamine releases. On the other end, I've seen a lot of Caucasian women be like this. Although it may look like a lot of black women sleep around, but a lot of black women are more loyal. The Caucasian woman gets in a relationship with everyone. I felt like superior to him. It was no uh, sexual polarity. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. After all the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what? Let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. It was no uh, polarity. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. I felt was like- you, Did you find yourself snapping on him and getting a little bit more disrespectful than you normally would? Very. That's typically what happens. Yeah. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And it's unfortunate because he's the good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship, he didn't put me in my place as the woman, as his woman. And he didn't show me that he can lead. So I felt like I was leading the entire household when it's really supposed to be him. All right. Women aren't supposed to feel like that. And the reason why women are not supposed to feel like that is because men are raised to respect them. Men are raised to love them. Men are raised not to hurt them. So a man goes in a relationship with the intentions of treating her good. But women at the end of the day still need a dominant male that they feel like they could be protected around. Your mother never teaches you that. Grandmother never teaches you that. Your auntie, they never teach you that. And the reason why I mentioned those women is because those are the women that you go to first to get relationship advice from. When you get relationship advice from members, on women in your family, after you get hurt, it's when you go to the males in your family and you learn what you did wrong. Okay, in this situation with this woman, she is absolutely right. She's going to run all over you. And the reason why she's going to run all over you is because a lot of you guys out there, you're living for what you think people think about you. So it causes you to be a super duper nice guy. But when you're super duper nice, you're not a risk taker. You live life too comfortable. You live life too cautious. So what does that mean? That means that you're never doing anything exciting. You become a very, very, very boring person. And women need excitement in their life. A lot of you guys, you're going to continue to get treated like this. And believe it or not, it's not the woman's problem. And the reason why it's not the woman's problem is because, yes, a lot of guys, you have become too feminized. You don't know what it's like to be a man anymore. Most of you don't even know how to work a hammer. You don't know how to fix a car. You don't know how to use a screw gun. You don't know how to use a drill. You're into the same things that women are into. You're either into the same thing as a woman or you're into video games, playing video games all day. None of you are doing anything constructive. Let me take that back. A lot of you are doing things constructive, but majority on the internet that's doing the commenting, you're not doing anything with your life but complaining, and that's all you have to offer. And when it comes to you nice guys, women play you because that's all you have to offer. It's niceness. You don't have anything else about you that's exciting. It's not just going to be a woman playing you. Your friends are going to leave you alone too. I tell you guys all the time for all you nice guys out there, you want to know the end game? The end game is old people and little kids. What do I mean? You're going to be a hero to old people and you're going to be a hero to little kids. 
But everybody in between, they're not going to want to be around you or they're not going to care about you because they don't need to use your vulnerability. Older people are old and vulnerable. They like being around a nice person because they know you're not going to hurt them. And kids love being around nice people so they can use them. You have to understand, children know how to use adults more than adults know how to use children. But children only know how to use weaker people. When children come around alphas and dominant people, they have a tendency to shut up. Why? Because they can read the truth. So understand, if you're real popular amongst kids, it's because you're weak. Children don't like going towards dominancy. You take the dominant person in your family, the children are afraid to approach them. They're afraid to hurt them. Why? Because he already has a boundary up to how far you can go. That's what a lot of you guys have to, you have to develop with women. You have to develop a boundary. When she goes past it, you put her in check. My friends were being treated. I got a little upset at the way I was being treated by men and the way all my friends were being treated by men and really women in general were being treated by men. Most men treat their women like a queen, but those are the average men. Her problem is that she's chasing the guys who are the top one to 5% that have a ton of options when it comes to females and exercise those options. Average or slightly above average men are not good enough for her. That's her problem. He is absolutely right. That's the biggest problem that women are having is that they attract so many guys that they, they feel confident enough to get the guys who are in that top bracket. But the guys that are in that top bracket just have absolutely too many options because all the women are thinking the same thing. Women are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And the reason why I say that is because men that are dominant know they're dominant and they know their value. Guys who are not dominant and don't know their value, they try to talk their value up. So they're going to tell you I'm alpha. They're going to tell you I'm this. They're going to tell you I'm that. I'm gonna, they're going to tell you I'm this, this, that, the third. They're going to do more talking. But real alpha males are going to do the walking. We're not going to have time to convince you of nothing. You either get down or get out of our way. Run with us or run from us. And that's the mindset that a lot of these women don't know. Another thing, she is a blonde. That's like the hardest because that's like amongst the rich guys, that's one of the main women they want. So I want to talk about this. At first, I was thinking she was talking about women like men who pay their own bills, men who are independent and aren't bums. But I don't think that's what she was talking about. I think she was talking about women liking men that pay all the bills, including theirs. Women liking men who do traditional things, and that's fine and dandy. But the issue is a majority of women that want their traditional man and treatment aren't traditional themselves. I agree with him, but you have to realize those are the type of women that you guys are going to whenever you get money. Whenever you get money, whenever you gain success, and I'm talking specifically to black dudes, whenever you guys get the money, you get the success, you celebrate like a rapper. All right, I have friends that are successful in other avenues that are legit. When I tell you they're legit, they don't sell drugs, they're not gangsters, they're not thugs or nothing, but they celebrate like a rapper. What do I mean? They go out and buy the expensive jewelry. They go out and buy the flashy clothes. They set their cars up to look like a rap concert. They date hood boogers that look like rap videos and they are legit dudes. That's the problem that we're having. You have too many apples that are trying to get oranges to like them and they're disguising as an orange to lure them in knowing good well they are apple underneath. So what needs to happen here is you guys need to understand who you are and where you want to go with it. Are women going to always be practicing hypergamy? Yes, it's part of their nature, but it's also the reason why you go buy a Lambo, you go buy a Ferrari, you go buy a Benz, you go buy the expensive car, you go buy the BMW, you go buy the Audi. You're going to show your boys you got it at first, but you're really doing it for the women. You're hoping the girl sees you and she comes around and flirt with you because you bought it. Like, let's just be honest. You're a lot of guys who got the money, you're putting yourself out there to be used because you're using your money to lure them in and you're not expecting them to think like this. See, what you guys are afraid to do, what most men are afraid to do is humble yourself and get with the girl that just likes you. She may not be that attractive. She may, she may not be that sexual. The guys may not want her, but she may be willing to be a queen for you. That's what you got to realize. You got to go with the one that's holding you down 
not the one that's slowing you down. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.